Hello again and welcome to another vlog. Uh, today I'm actually doing a, a vlog in the UK for a change, um, which is great. I haven't done one in ages. And that kind of leads me in nicely into doing a little bit of a plug um, for landscape photography on YouTube UK. I can never get that right. Um, but hopefully I've done it and um, I'll give you a little link in the description below. Now, it's a Facebook group set up by a chap called John Haswell. Um, he's got some other moderators that um, all chip in and help out, but it's a fantastic little group um, that pulls together uh, news starters, uh, photographers, uh, videographers, and anyone who's interested in vlogging about landscapes. Um, this is the place to actually go and check out. There's loads of help, there's loads of information. Um, everyone's very supportive, so you, you, you couldn't go wrong there. Um, and if, you, if you're looking for uh, inspiration on how to do videos or how to do um, some photography, you can just post a question and the, the, you'll get hundreds of answers. Um, so check it out and I'll catch up with you in a moment. Okay, so today I'm in uh, a place called Cuckmere, um, and I'm actually here to photograph the Cuckmere River. I've been here a couple of times. I photographed it early in the morning, um, but I didn't actually do particularly well because the sunrise isn't apparent and I didn't have a, a great deal of color in the sky. Um, I first found this place um, in an old bookshop. I was th thumbing through an old book on East Sussex and I saw this black and white photo of an amazing river and it just kind of snakes through the valley. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to go and check that out. So I'm going to turn the camera around now, I'll give you a pan around and just show you the actual river itself um, and see what you think. Okay, so that pan of the river probably doesn't do it justice. So have a look at this little video clip and I'll come back to you in a minute.
okay so you've probably got a better idea of how the valley is laid out now um, this windy river uh, winds all the way down to the sea um, and it just looks absolutely amazing um, the way it cuts through the valley now they have actually cut a, a, a channel on, on the other side of the river to stop the, the whole plain flooding um, and that kind of that does spoil it a little bit but if you kind of keep this side um, this side of the river and just keep your focus here keep your camera here it does look pretty spectacular um, but what I'm here to do today is just to photograph one little piece I've got this horseshoe bend in front of me and I'm waiting for the sun to, to drop in the sky um, to just above the hill behind and hopefully I get a, um, a bit of an orange ball um, with a reflection in the river and a, a U-shape um, but let's see I jumped in the car earlier and yeah, the sun was out and it was incredibly warm in the car and I thought, yeah, great, uh, nice summer, summery evening. Um, but as soon as I jumped out, it was bloody freezing. It was getting down to close to 10 degrees again. And I didn't even bring a jacket. What a numpty. Hey ho. <laughs> all good fun, all good fun. Um, right, let's wait for the sun to go down, get the last shot, and get off home. Right, while I'm waiting for that, that sun to go down a bit further, I'll just give you a little insight into where, where we are. Um, I'm actually at the Cuckfield River, um, but it is part of the Seven Sisters uh, Country Park. Um, now this river leads all the way down to the coast, and at the end, at the end of this river, um, to the left, you have the, the Seven Sisters. And the Seven Sisters are seven brows of a chalk cliff. Um, and they're quite impressive. I think you, you could just see that at the end of the, the um, drone footage, you could see the Seven Sisters. Um, and you can actually, you can actually get to um, this place quite easily. So if you're coming in on, um, on foot, you can, you can get a, a train to um, Brighton or Seaford and from there you can get a bus which will take you over there so as as the as the hill goes up you should be able to see some traffic going up and down there is a bus stop over there and you should be able to get there quite easily from as I say Brighton or Seaford um, I know, I know that some people travel up this way from London to take photographs, so if you're interested, that, that's, uh, that's certainly worth checking out. If you Google Seven Sisters Country Park, it'll get you here. Okay, so the sun's getting a bit lower out in the sky now, and it's probably as low as I want it to be. Um, I was hoping to have a bit more orange in the sky, um, but it's just not happening. Um, so I'm going to have to get my shot now, and... I'm going to have to make do, unfortunately. So here goes. Let's turn this around a little bit, recompose. Nope, that wasn't it. Okay, so here goes. I'm bracketing, bracketing the shot. Uh, five shots. Um, F16. Give me an 80th of a second. I'm in aperture priority mode as I usually am. And an ISO of 200. So I'm gonna fire this off now. And one for luck. Okay, we'll see how that turns out. Um, once again, don't forget to check out the landscape photography on YouTube UK. <laughs> Got it out that time. Um, links in the description below. And I'm sorry it was such a short vlog um, this time around, but I'm oh, crazy. I just want to get home. Anyway, catch you later.